Hello there, distinguished viewers. It's cold in here. Not as cold as last year, though, so I don't need to wear as much clothing. Also, I bought this lot of Chinese 12 speed derailleurs. You want to take a pic? Of course, you want to take a pic. And this is the crux of our video today. I'm going to be doing it in a rather shootout because. We don't want to make a very long and boring video, we're going to make a very short and boring video. So, this is our baseline, this is the Shimano SLX 11 speed plus Dior 6000 series, uh, Dior 6000 series, GS. Another one is a Sensa XRX 12 speed derailleur with a matching uh, shifter. Then there is an S-Ride 12 speed model RDM 500C. And the last one is AL2AX with no model on it. Each one of these I bought for approximately 50, uh, $50, 55 ish each. So, in order to uh, establish some sort of a baseline, let's start with the Shimano. And what do we have here? Uh, the pulleys are tall teeth on the top, uh, smaller tooth on the bottom. The cage length is, let me check, uh, 92.5 millimeters long, but this is a GS version, so the SGS, which would be equivalent of these, is even longer than this. Uh, the offset of the top pulley is fairly minor, but higher than on other 10-speed uh, derailers, but much lower than on the 12-speed. Uh, the clutch is adjustable here. Uh, and you can turn it off and on. You can adjust it internally, and it's fairly strong, but it depends on the adjustment. Uh, the weight of the derailleur is... Turn on, turn on, turn on. 322 grams. Uh, the cable routing is standard Shimano, which is god-awful and atrocious, because the cable goes here, is rounded here, sticks out here, and gets snagged in the spokes in that direction. Although it's still better than 10-speed. Uh, adjustments are in uh, hex uh, screws, I think 2.5 millimeters, so we probably don't have that in your multi tool. The shifter. Shut up. The shifter. Uh, the action is obviously Shimano, so you have. Uh, in order to pull out the gear, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 wind down shifting. You can upshift, so I'm going to higher gears in both directions. And since this is SLX, you can't uh, upshift in two directions. Uh, the clamp is standard, obviously this is Shimano, so you can also buy this in the iSpec. And uh, the weight of the shifter with the cable attached is approximately 136 grams. Okay, let, with that out of the way, let's look at our Chinese contenders. Let's start with... any mini, mini, whatever, out uh, the cage length is, well, let's start with the pulley size. The pulleys are 12, uh, 12 tooth, a narrow white profile, which is pretty good, and if you look at the, the entire derailleur, it simply reeks of being a SRAM derivative. Moreover, if you look at it closely, you'll notice that it has a built-in cage extender, because it's simply the uh, normal high slant derailleur with the attachment higher on the, on the, on the arm of the knuckle here, whatever. Uh, as I said, pulleys are 12 teeth, narrow wide. Uh, the cage length is fairly substantial because it's 105-ish millimeters, so which is pretty long. The entire shape of this thing simply, as I said before, reeks of SRAM. The uh, offset of the uh, top pulley here, which decides how well it's going to handle the big cassette, is fairly minor. Because, as I said, it seems like it is just a uh, normal 10-speed derailleur, which was uh, adjusted or made compatible with high-range uh, high cassettes. By the way, if I haven't mentioned this, uh, the, all these are supposedly compatible with uh, 11 to 52 cassettes. Uh, the clutch is unfortunately non-existent. There isn't a clutch here. Why there isn't a clutch here? That's atrocious. Well, maybe some people aren't riding in actual mountains. 
And some people like trekking bikes with one bike. I think, okay. Weight, 310 grams. Respectable for this kind of derailleur. Uh, cable routing, standard SRAM, which is go through here, go through this arm here, attach here, and stick here. Probably not, it's not going to be much of a problem to anyone. No, adjustments are uh, unfortunately inferior Phillips screws or combine of Phillips and a flat screwdriver screws. Can't say I like them, but they are functional. All right. The shifter. Uh, the shifter is something that looks like it was made by SRAM because it is something that looks like SRAM. You can uh, upshift, upshift, downshift. One, two, three, four. Four gears are down, and unfortunately you can upshift only in one direction, so this is purely push-push uh, action. If we put it on the scale, it comes out at 139 grams. Uh, we have a little barrel adjuster here, we have a standard uh, clamp here, and that's about it. Looks, well, if you change the uh, branding here, it will be SRAM. The next unit is going to be... S-Ride. Alright. This is an S-Ride rear derailleur. The pulleys are 11 tooth. The upper pulley uh, has a taller teeth, which is pretty good. The lower pulley is a standard uh, Shimano pulley. The cage length comes out at 107.5 mm, 107mm ish. Uh, the offset of the top pulley is very minor. It's Possibly less than in your. I think so. Uh, the clutch is very strong, unfortunately not adjustable, at least it doesn't seem like it is, but it is very, very strong, and I guess it's it is to compensate for the very long cage. So this thing might this thing might shift a little worse, but uh, handle the uh, the the slapping of the chain a little better because of a very strong, uh, very strong clutch. Uh, if we look at the design, it seems like something that is a cross between Shimano and SRAM because while the the parallelogram here looks like something made by Shimano, uh, the knuckle here isn't a lengthened just to handle the the extra capacity of the big cassette, and the slant is very extreme, but. Uh, the activation with the lever here looks something that was made by SRAM. Overall, it doesn't look really bad. Weight, 265 grams. This is very light. This is something I noticed just after I got it, because I like something that is cheap and nice. The cable routing, standard SRAM, so goes in here, gets routed through here, and then attached here, and sticks on the other side to the outside of the bike. Not a bad design. Uh, adjustment screws are unfortunately also the Phillips screws with a slot for a flat top screwdriver. But overall, considering it's very light, I find it very nice. Uh, the shifter for the s right RDM500C is something that looks eerily Shimano to the, uh, to the, mm, in opposite to the uh, derailleur there because it looks like it, but from the first impression it is also kinda plasticky. Uh, the actuation is one, two, three, four, five, five gears on the downshift and unfortunately only one gear on the upshift, but you get the dual release which is, which is nice. Unfortunately, although that is a personal opinion of me, it has a gear indicator, which is not removable. I don't like gear indicators, but whatever, some people like them. If we put the shifter on the scale, it comes out at 129 grams, which is kind of explained why it feels so plasticky, but it's 10 grams uh, lighter than the previous two others. Now, this is the Sensa SRX, the 12 speed offering from Sensa, which is kind of a follow up to what I did last year. The pulleys are 11 to both sides. The upper pulley has taller teeth. The lower pulley has also taller teeth, but I don't think they are as tall as on the Shimano. No, they aren't. 
Essentially, they are identical to the they are identical to the old uh, to the uh, old sensor rear derailleur. From the get go, you also notice that it is much more massive than the two derailleurs before, and it seems like it's a native solution to the 12 speed. Uh, the parallelogram slant isn't as extreme as on the S ride because uh, the offset of the upper pulley is much higher, which means that this derailleur, this one is going to handle 2x12 much better than this one but this one is much more native to 1x12 uh, as I said before uh, it seems like it's a... Uh, did I say it before? whatever, continuing uh, this, this thing looks much more uh, higher quality than these two it seems like uh, Sansa is trying to be a, a higher quality company uh, and this uh, this impression is held if you start uh, using the clutch because the clutch is here it is adjustable just like Shimano but adjustable externally and if you put it here if you adjust it here you'll see that there is a little dial which is uh, rotating as you as you adjust it that's cute unfortunately while it is better than the old sensor the SRX the XRX the clutch is much weaker than that of a Shimano you can see how uh, how complicated the forgings are, are. essentially I kind of like the, the shape of it anyhow uh, we have the clutch so let's put it on the scale on the scale it comes out at 308 grams which is kind of large oh I didn't measure the cage length so the cage length is because of the higher offset it's shorter than the previous day it's 99 uh, millimeters 10 centimeters essentially, or 4 inches for those who are SI uh, illiterate. Uh, the cable routing is going here, be routed through here. There's a little clamp bolt on this side. There is no uh, that pulley that is on the SRX, but you uh, can push the cable through here and it goes out on the outside of the derailleur. And there is a little cap here where you can hold the cable inside. So it doesn't really come out of it. This is pretty good. So goes in here, goes in here, gets clamped over here, and then this cover here keeps it from sticking into anywhere. This is great. Adjustment screws are hex screws, 2.5 millimeters most likely. I can tell I don't have a measuring tool in my eye. And I'm not going to measure this on here. Overall first impression pretty darn good especially because i've paid 55 dollars for this now the shifter uh, the shifter is eerily shimano just like previous uh, sensor shifters and uh, you can uh, downshift one two three four five six great for 12 speed that's brilliant unfortunately you can upshift one two three just one on one direction and just one on the other, but you have dual release. On the scale, it comes out at 130 grams, which is in line with the rest of the lot. Now, the clamp is standard, and that's the quick shutout of these derailleurs. Now, I'm going to be testing uh, each and every one on my standard route using two cassettes. Uh, the one which is 12 speed 1134, which is something in the mail I believe and the other which is the uh, VG Sports 1150 which you already saw and I'm currently riding it on a on my Merida but that's going to change uh, so if you like this content consider subscribing if you are interested interested in the follow-up subscribe as well and I hope to see you on the next video By the way, if you're interested why I think that Sensa is trying to become a higher company among these Chinese manufacturers, their stuff came in this box, which is held by magnets. That's cute. 50 bucks for this. It's great value, at least from the get-go. It might prove to be absolutely atrocious and unusable. Although the shifter is mount is packed like this so the cable is routed like this 
and so it get got bent a little bit. They're on their way.